Day seven, and we departed from Sarah Kafima, this camp that was right on the Angola border. We had an incredible three days there, and Moses, our guide, drove us to the airport as we waved goodbye to everybody, including the indigenous people. When we visited their village, it was so special, and they were so extraordinarily hospitable to us. It was just an amazing experience, and Andre, our pilot, got the caravan ready. We would now fly in a beautiful turboprop about one hour towards the west coast, and we would go to the skeleton coast. And our next camp was even more remote than this camp. Hard to believe that anything could be that way. And we waved goodbye to Moses. Isn't that incredible? And got into the air. Looking back at the runway, this very desolate place that we flew into, and then we were going to even a more desolate and remote place as we overflew this beautiful landscape across Namibia. Just absolutely incredible. The topography was always changing. And then we got to our new camp overlooking that. And I did a quick Google Earth map to give you an idea of where exactly it is that we were going to. As we got closer, we saw the runway, we did a pass by, and then a base leg. And then Andre put the jet prop down, and we had a beautiful greeting from the crew there. And they were just so awesome. This is what I love about Africa. The spirit is just so beautiful. And the lodge, well, again, breathtaking. And the valley it looked out over into was just over the top. And this is where the desert lions live. And we went out on our game drive and it was almost shocking. We didn't drive for more than 10 minutes. And we found three lions. And right when we got there, some giraffes walked in front of them and they began the hunt. Now, they decided not to go after the giraffes, even though they were in very close proximity. What our guide told us is they'd probably wait till the evening. They were very attentive and it looked like they were gonna strike at any moment. This valley was beautiful, the sun was going down, the giraffes were feeding down in the riverbed and the lions were perched up on the edge overlooking this beautiful area and that was day seven.